Ertile Swim Run World Series is presented by Garmin, Camps at Nature, and Head. On the islands Utah and Ola in the Stockholm archipelago, the birthplace of Ertala, swim run has become a natural part of the locals' everyday training routines. In preparation for this year's event in Utah, Anders Bloomlove, the island's supervisor and farmer of Ola Gord, alongside in-chef Johan Nielsen, have built what may be the world's first swim run pool. It's hard to train on the winter here out there for us. So. Vi sa att vi skulle åka in och träna, men så tänkte jag att vi måste, jag måste kunna träna ännu mer. Då såg jag till och han och jag att bygga den här simrampoolen. Det är jättebra. The teams arrive in the harbour in Grubin for the fourth edition of the Ertala Swim Run Utah, this year's first qualifier for the Ertala World Series, in which the teams fight for eight places in the World Championship, spread over the classes men, women and mixed teams. Among the inns, boat houses and bicycle rentals in the harbour area, new record numbers of teams are getting ready for the start. Very excited, it's the first race in Stockholm area, so feeling very excited to see the race and the nature around here. It's going to be an awesome race and uh, we're going to go hard from the start. We're pretty uh, nervous. <laughs> first time we're racing together and basically the first time we're training together. Individually we're pretty good, in theory we're pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. on the papers. <laughs> The teams face more than 35 kilometers of running and 4.5 kilometers of swimming on and around the main islands Utah, Rona and Ola, on paths, biking roads, along rocky beaches and also in untrodden terrain. The cold water reaching around 10 degrees Celsius makes the swimming legs very challenging. For Swim Run Utah 2016, we have 297 registered teams from 18 nations. And we have some of the top racers uh, that are here to start. I think we have all world champions. We have uh, Staffan and Marika in mixed. Paul Korczak, he's racing with Nicolas Ramirez uh, as his couple for the world championship this year. And Nicolas was also the winner of Uta last year. And we have Maya and uh, Annika in separate teams in the women's class. So the competition is strong and I think we have some uh, foreign teams that are going to come in here and show what it's all about. So I'm looking forward for some fun action. <laughs> Teams reach the first Cliff Energy Station at Springer Brigger after the second swim from Engs Homan. The course runs towards Ustra Mina Sudden, through the forest, across Bilbury Spriggs, and past the Holiday Village. Russ Vikan is crossed three times this year with the first swimming leg leading to Rona. On the beach on Rona, we see the leading team, the brothers Jonas and Lars Ekman. Wading just behind in second place, last year's winner Nicholas Ramirez, with his new partner Paul Krokak, the reigning swim run world champion. Not far behind in recent debt, we see the leading mixed team getting out of the water, Daniel Hansen and Christine Larsen. After a brief run through the forest here, follows a short swim across to Ola and through the reed, we see the leading women's team, number 421, Amanda Fisher and Sarah Svensk. När vi kommer från Rysviken, när vi har simmat i Rysviken och kommer upp mot Åler, där har vi en liten klättring upp. Sen går det en stig på berget som går ut söderut till ett av mina favoritplatser, Brända bergen. Det är ett stenröse vi kommer passera. När man kommer dit upp, då kommer vi se mot Nynäshamn, stad Nynäshamn då, som är helt underbar. Där kommer vi se långa sträckor bortåt söderut. Då. 
After about one and a half hours of racing, the leaders reach Bort's Hackett, the very popular inn on the southwestern point of Olar. As a resident of Utah, athlete Maya Tesh with her teammate Lisa Jansen are greeted by cheers as they climb on board the terrace of Bort's Hackett. Maya, who resides part-time by the sea in Utah, started her swim-run career in grand fashion, winning the world champion title at the beginning of September 2015. I think uh, the strong swim-run routes here has helped me during last season. It was my first year of swim-run and I have everything so close, so of course it's, it's I can just wake up in the morning and go out to have a swim here. Or, I think my favourite place is when you run on Åla and you come from uh, Tunvarsviken and you run up in the forest and then you come down to these uh, sharp, really rough rocks and you have to run uh, with a, an amazing view. Then you get into the water and it's like cold, crystal clear water and you swim towards uh, Ålestorsand. And then when you get up on the beach, you continue running into this uh, deep forest. And it's uh, this shifting that I think it's most beautiful with the course. The course now leads the teams back through the agricultural landscape and Anders' farm with a swim run pool on Ola, then further on along the long gravel road back to Utah. This is the longest running leg of the event. Since I was a kid, I've, we've been biking on these roads and I remember they were never ending. And I think I have it in my soul that they are so long. <laughs> Back again at Springer Brigger and this is where the teams face the longest swim. A distance of 600 metres across to Stura Pash Holman. The organisers have changed the layout of the course this year. Part of the reason is that we want teams to get to the bottom to the south end of Ola as soon as possible and more teams to be able to enjoy the fantastic nature down by Stusham. So that's why we've put a cutoff in back in the harbour here at Uta. Still in a safe lead coming into the Red Bull Energy Station in the marina in Grubin is team number 189, Jonas and Losh Ekman. In second, now Frederick Axigurd and Alex Flores. Third overall is the mixed team Christine Larsen and Daniel Hansen. The teams then have to do a finish loop instead with uh, one short swim on the backside, on the outside where the water is really cold, and then two short swims before the finish line. A short run across the last island, Tal Holman, and here on the final swimming leg of the race, this year's winning team for Ertler swim run Utah emerge, getting out of the water near the small sauna. The time clocked by the strong Swedish brothers Jonas and Lars Ekman is 3 hours, 56 minutes and 49 seconds. As overall winners and best men's team, they've also secured a place in the Ertler swim run world championship in September. Well, we have a, a good communication in the team. Uh, we're even, both uh, between uh, between us, and and we're we're good swimmers with good runners, and we've been uh, we've been working out, you know, with the the goal for for the season uh, being uh, earlier uh, in September. Frederick Axigerd and Alex Flores advanced to second place in the marina and managed to keep the position across the finish line, some five minutes behind. A tremendous performance and a clean sweep in the mixed class. Daniel Hansen and Christine Larsen, another Swedish pair, cross the finish line as the third team overall. The time reads 4 hours, 3 minutes, 24 seconds. I think we had an advantage of the running. The running part is uh, it's good for us. A few seconds further back are Henrik Valberg and Klaus Viren, the third team in the men's class. The reigning mixed-class world champions Marika Wagner and Staffan Bjorklund claim silver in the mixed class. In the women's class, the Swedes Annika Eriksson and Elizabeth Persdotter Westman had a close and tough battle throughout the race with the early leaders Amanda Fischer and Sara Svensk. As little as two minutes separates the teams as Annika and Elizabeth cross the finish line as the winners after four hours and 38 minutes of competing. We're very complete together. Yeah, I think so. Yes. 
so it was a perfect match. In total, eight places for the World Championships have been handed over to the fastest teams on this testing early summer day in Utah. Many teams struggled for up to six or seven hours to complete the course. Exhausted but happy, they dropped in one by one across the longed-for finish line and headed straight for the grill buffet with refreshments and all the wonderful stories of the day's achievements and struggles. That's, that the surrounding the nature is so great, it's a unique place, unbelievable. I'm a bit tired in my legs, but it was really fun and beautiful nature. But now it's time to rest. <laughs> 